Oh my god! Oh, oh man. Oh my fucking soul. Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today is Better Call Saul Day. We are watching season three, episode three, and this one is called Sunk Costs. So, if you have not watched last week's episode, please go here, click that, watch that one, then come back and watch this one with me, my friends. We'll just have a better call all day. It'll be amazing. If you are here for the first time, hello. My name is Kim, also Kimmy, Kimmy Cup, whatever you wanna call me. Any of those is fine. Uh, and if you are returning, hello my friends. Welcome back to more Better Call Soul. And to all my patrons watching over on Patreon, hello. Love you guys. All righty. So, season three, episode three. Holy crap, I can't believe we're here. I'm not really gonna do a recap of the last episode, but, but, <laughs> you do not want to miss my reaction to last episode. I was shocked, you guys, shocked. So, that's all I will leave you with. Go watch it if you haven't watched it already. So, you all know what to do. Grab your coffee, or your tea, or your water, or your milk, or your alcohol, I don't know. Get whatever you wanna drink. Get cozy. I'm here in my living room. Get cozy. And uh, let's watch this episode. I am, I'm so excited. Let's go, my friends. Cheers. So excited. Shoes, oh. <laughs> this is funny because you will see that a lot, a lot in New Mexico. I don't know if people just do it for fun, if they're bored. I did read something about it signals like a gang in the area. I don't know if that's true, but yeah, I see that all the time. Let me know if you guys see shoes hanging, you know, where you live. I'm assuming it's not just, not just in the Southwest. And there's a truck, Is, are they moving product? Okay, I have a hair in my way. Oh yep, Los Pollos. They are moving the product. Four people. I'm assuming the product. Hmm, okay. Very interesting. Oh, it's going in. In and out of black and white. Hmm, I see. Very, very interesting. Oh, wait, are we starting right with Mike again? <gasps> oh, please, yes. May I assume that you are armed? That's Gus. I do not wish to see your gun. And if I don't, I promise you won't see mine. That's Gus, you guys. Expect two cars moving. Oh my lord. I cannot believe we're gonna get to see Gus this episode. Like more Gus. More Gus of the Gus. Actually doing his Gus thing. The meeting of Mike and Gus. <laughs> oh god. I'm sorry you guys, I'm a little whew, I'm a little tired today, so. And uh, there he is. So I might be a little loopy. Oh my God. Oh my God. This brings back. You care to elaborate? Memories. It's Gus. not in my interest for Hector Salamanca to die. Who is he to you? An associate of an associate. How much time do you have, Mike? <laughs> we had a disagreement. 
He mm -hmm. threatened my family. I'm not going to let that go. You'd taken his money. Your family was no longer in danger. And yet, still, you robbed his truck. Oh, man. See, he's been watching him for so long. You made an attempt on his life. Why? I can't allow you to kill Hector. However, I am not completely unsympathetic to your sense of justice. I just... <laughs> this is so trippy, guys. I can't. This brings me back. You want me to rob another truck? If you feel so inclined. No more tracker. No more of your minions following me. <laughs> Just like that. No more minions. I trust that you are done with Hector Salamanca. Oh, Mikey. You want his truck set because you want to disrupt his supply line. Hector's your competition. <laughs> Mike is so smart. He's smart. Because I'm not done with Hector Salamanca. Oh, Mike. God, what a great opening, you guys. Ah! That was awesome. So I was told that that is the same receptionist from, Baking, from Breaking Bad that he has in the show. Which is so cool. I love that. I love that they brought back old actors, um, the same old actors to play in this show. It's amazing. You won't want to hear it, but this is for the best. Um, Please understand, I'm trying to help you. The police will arrest you, and I'm sorry, but I will be pressing charges. I told you there would be consequences. So he called the police. You'll face those consequences, and you'll come out the other side a better man. That you have to make a change before it's too late. Before you destroy yourself. You'll find your path. And when you're <laughs> ready, I will be there. Well... Mm. <laughs> Here's what's gonna happen. Um, Chuck. One day you're gonna get sick. Again, rolled up in that space blanket. <laughs> the space take blanket. Take you to the hospital. Mm hmm And this time, it'll be too much. And you will die there. Alone. Damn, Jimmy. Sir, you need all your personal property, belt. <sighs> so I wonder if this is the point at which you know they don't really interact anymore because you know chuck's not in better call i mean oh my god chuck's not in breaking bad so something happens either he passes away or they go their separate ways for good okay i can't really tell how this looks but Hell. Oh, I no. thought they were bullshitting me. So you got representing him. I'll be representing myself. Sign here. Moron. That's that public defender guy that he worked with. Jimmy McGill getting fingerprinted with the hoi polloi. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. So anyway, yeah, I just wonder if this is kind of the straw that broke the camel's back for um, for Jimmy with kind of like... Chuck is out of my life. I'm done. You uh, do know how to throw a punch, right? Yeah, all right. Goodbye. <laughs> Coffee montage. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what is this montage of Kim? Ready for work. Ernie. Dang, man, I wish I was that freaking disciplined to wake up that early, get my workout in before work, before anything. Can I talk to you? 
Sure, Ernie, what's going on? Uh, but I'm not. Mr. McGill fired me. Oh no. Poor Ernie. I didn't mean for this to happen. What happened to Jimmy? I was wondering what he was gonna do to Ernie. What an asshole. He knew the whole time he was going to tell Jimmy. <laughs> I don't know. Chuck, he, he's an asshole sometimes. I'll talk more about that at the end. James McGill. Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> Not how I'm used to seeing you in here, Mr. McGill. <laughs> nope. Not how I'd like to be seen. You've been accused of fourth-degree felony breaking and entering, which carries a maximum sentence of 18 months. He did do that. We've also got petty misdemeanor assault. Plus, he didn't criminal assault damage anybody. to property. Also misdemeanor with a maximum he did sentence do that. of six months and a $500 fine. I wish to enter a plea of not guilty. Now, Mr. McGill, have you secured counsel? Yes, uh, Your Honor. Kim Wexler, I'll be representing oh. Mr. McGill in this matter. Your Honor, if I may, um, I'll be representing myself. Your Honor, I'm all set. I'm going to represent Jimmy, myself. Jimmy, don't Honor, be a moron. Your client, Ms. Wexler. I'm sorry. I'm moving on. You two can work this out on your own time. Don't be a moron, Jimmy. Well, given your ties to the community, I see no reason to deny you bond, which I set now at $2,500. What a mess. Chuck bamboozled me again. That tape, he made sure that Ernie heard it. For Howard was there, and a PI, if you can believe that. Just waiting for me to lose my shit and bust in. Chuck played me like a fiddle, and schmuck yep. that I am, I fell for it. And then I didn't call you, which is stupid, and I'm sorry about that too, but I didn't call you for a reason, okay? Because this is my screw up. I won't load this onto you too. We have worked too hard to let Chuck's Bullshit vendetta threatened everything that we're building. <sighs> I will fix this myself, me, Jimmy McGill, okay? You have got to let me do this on my own. Okay. You kind of reminded me of Walter there, not going to lie. I will fix this. I will do it. Ah, me, me, me. Uh. <laughs> there she is. After all this time, she's still there. Just, you know, this isn't a typical <laughs> here. Yeah, mm. totally. I... Don't get scared off. <laughs> Who's this? So I wonder what doctor this is or who this is. The gringo. The gringo? The doctor's ready. Oh, <laughs> Mike's there. The oh, the revenge, the revenge. Okay. Well, I need a package. Yay, big. Oh. And grounds. Wait, yeah, the doctor looks familiar. Yeah, this big. <laughs> oh my god, that would totally be me. I need this much. You know, this much. Um, is that the doctor that in Breaking Bad that they that they go to after the whole incident? Y'all know what I'm talking about? Because he looks familiar. What did he get? More coffee. Ooh, we should play a game. Every time I see coffee in this show, we take a sip. Ah. Or tea or whatever you guys have on hand. Tea, water, milk, alcohol. Two bags of chips, my man. Two bags. Wow. 
Hey. Hey. He's not in an orange Just jumper. Sitting here. Jumpsuit. No. Jumper jumpsuit. Yeah. This whole thing is a big misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely no way it's going to trial. I hope not. So you're looking to plea out on this then, Monty? If it's the right plea. But where did the um, assault charge come in? Not you. I'm prosecuting your case? Nah, ma'am. It's not me. Oh, he's like, damn it. Who is it? You and I have wheeled and dealed together too many times. True, That's true. The, way the boss is letting me run that one. They are like acquaintances, so. So who is, who is it? it? Um, they're pulling in someone from Berlin. Oh. Um, hey. Hey. Anyway, as I was saying, someone explain to me how where the assault charge comes in because I understand the breaking and entering. I understand the destruction of property charge and all that but he didn't as far as i remember he didn't touch chuck unless i just am not remembering it so anyway let me know because i don't remember the assault i'm really curious about what mike is doing Shoes? Oh, oh. Oh, is he putting drugs in the shoes? Oh, and then he's gonna put them on the what? Okay, okay. So this is from the beginning. So wait, is that what the shoes mean? Are there, <laughs> oh my God, now I'm gonna think about this every time I see shoes on a wire like are there drugs in there because drugs are bad okay it's a bad thing to do drugs so don't be bad what that can't be what they mean yeah and i feel like that would be really hard to get shoes up there <laughs> oh close There you go. Is this hay? Oh, okay. Never Did seen her before. Ever have a key to the house? Yes. Going, going back to the confrontation so I have it absolutely clear. Did he strike you? No, nothing like that. So he didn't strike him. My brother is a lot of things, but even he has limits. I don't intend to take it easy on your brother just because he's a lawyer. Of course not. You know, Jimmy has a good heart. I'm, I'm sure he does. It's not an excuse for what he's done. But he's my brother. I'm not going to defend his actions. But I can't help wondering if there's not a better solution for everyone. Which is? What's your... What's your game plan, Chuck? What is your end goal? Now, I wonder since we saw in the opening, they were flashing back from during the um, intro song or the theme song, they were flashing back from color to black and white. So I'm wondering if we might see future Jimmy in this episode, the black and white Jimmy. Or I might just be reading too much into it. But typically, everything that Vince does and the people who write these shows, they have a reason for doing something. Typically. Here they come. Okay. Hector's guys. God, the music they put in this show is so good. And I feel bad that I have to like almost mute it for the YouTube episodes, but it gets copyright every time I don't. 
But it's just so good. Oh shit. He's not gonna kill them, is he? Oh no, okay. I see what he was doing. Not hunters. Like, shoot, shoot out the tires or something? Oh, maybe not. Or he's going to take what they just buried when they leave. No. Oh, I see what he did. Oh, they're going to get caught at the border. The truck's going to get raided. Shit. Oh, shit. Why is Mike so fucking smart? Seriously. It really just pisses me off knowing how he ends up. His story ends up. Ugh. So smart. Yep. Yep. They're gonna get caught. Mm-hmm. Looks like we got a hit. Good doggy. Oh, I wanna pet it. Oh, you guys are fucked. Hector's gonna be so mad. Hello, my little boy. My little doggy. Oh my god. You guys, you know what this is callback to when they were in the frickin' parking garage? It's the same shot. Jesus, how old is this? But it's their office now instead of HHM. How freaking cool is that? Ugh, I love the show. I got a deal offer from the ADA today. It's not what I expected. Bad not what you expected? She's offering me pre-prosecution diversion. That's great, Jimmy. <sighs> Best I could hope for, right? Right. You gonna be able to keep your nose clean for a whole year? Keep Victor with a K on lockdown? <laughs> a whole year? Oh boy. She must not want the hassle of a trial. Or That's Chuck so. didn't. And Chuck is gonna be pissed. It's a big check in the pro column. Actually, the PPD was Chuck's idea. I was gonna say. What's his game? Exactly. What is his game? Yeah, I thought he wanted me in jail. He just wants my law license. Oh, that's his end game. Wait, is that why he changes his name to Saul Goodman? <gasps> oh. Hmm. A confession to a felony? Grounds for disbarment. Yeah. Interesting. He's got me boxed in. Damn. You can't argue this yourself. You and I both know that, and I'm not going to let you fight this on your own. Are you sure? <sighs> Why would you? <sighs> Come on. She loves you. This guy. <laughs> you fool. So what now? Now? Now we uh, take that PPD and we shove it right up Chuck's ass. Oh, come on. Alrighty, my friends. That was the end of that episode. Another amazing episode. I was just sucked in, like always. 
Oh, you guys, season three is so good. I mean, I loved the previous seasons, don't get me wrong, but I feel like each season is just stepping it up and it's getting better and better and better. And especially now that they've introduced Gus into the picture as well as all the other characters we're getting, like, I just don't know how it can get any better, honestly, at this point. Oh, I feel like there's a lot to talk about, but I feel like I cannot process what I want to say. So hold on. Okay. I want to talk about Chuck, but I'm still processing on how I feel about him because on one hand, I think he's an asshole for what he's doing to Jimmy, what he did to Ernie, for sure, asshole. So on that hand, asshole truck, absolutely. But, and y'all might, dis uh, might um, disagree with me on this. A lot of you might. I also understand in a way why he's doing what he's doing. Like I love Jimmy, but a lot of the stuff that Chuck says is true about Jimmy. And no matter which way we want to turn it or cut it, Jimmy did fuck up. I mean, he did mess with Chuck's case or HHM's case, however you want to put it. He falsified evidence. He did. You know, as much as I loved what he did and I was like, oh, he's so smart. He falsified evidence. So he also kicked down Chuck's door. You know, he broke into his um, desk. He did not touch him though. So I was right about that. But so I, <laughs> I understand from that angle why Chuck is doing what he's doing to Jimmy in a way. But where I struggle is like, it's his brother and I personally could just never see myself calling the cops on my, on my, on my little brother or my sister, you know, for, for doing what Jimmy did, like for doing stuff like that. And I've had to make some hard choices. <laughs> with my brother and if he's watching this he knows what I'm talking about nothing like that but yeah uh, so uh, I don't know I don't know I'm torn a little bit of me is torn like but I think most of me disagrees with what Chuck's doing because of the relationship but that doesn't mean just because you're someone's brother or sister or mother, you know, parent, friend, whatever, spouse, that you can walk all over them and take advantage of them. So, uh, I don't know. I'm torn with that, you guys. Okay. Um, wow. I just talked about that for a long time. Okay. I'm running out of camera time. Okay. So, uh, oh my God, Mike. Okay. Let's talk about Mike before my camera runs out. Holy shit. He is so smart. I never would have thought, like, the way his mind works is just amazing to me. And as I said during the show, it really pisses me off knowing where he ends up, like where his story ends. It really, really pisses me off. Um, I freaking love Mike. And, oh man, I just, I don't know. It's really a shame where his story ends, but... I am, I am so excited that him and Gus are now, they've met in person, they're talking and their bond, their relationship can start forming. And I am so excited to see that story. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Please give me more Mike and Gus, please. I'm so excited. So anyway, as I was saying, I am just here for it. I am here for Mike and Gus story. Please, please. I want to see more of that. Please, I'm sure we will, but please, really, I want to see it. I want to see everything. Okay, I want to talk about Kim because she also is not in Breaking Bad. And it makes me wonder, I mean, I've wondered obviously before this point, but now 
I'm just really starting to wonder what the hell happens to her in this show to separate her from Jimmy eventually. Do they go their separate ways eventually for whatever reason? God, I hope nothing horrible happens to her. Is my first thought was when she said that she was going to help Jimmy with this was, oh shit, is this what maybe screws up her legal career or something because she's helping him, something goes wrong, like always with Jimmy. I feel like he's always getting her in bad situations, maybe unintentionally sometimes, but, um, but does something happen? You know, that messes with her career or, or something and then they decide to like part ways or whatever. I don't know, that was kind of what was going through my head when I was watching that part. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> frick man. I just love this show so much and um, thank you all so much for watching with me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for being here and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now my friend. I really, really appreciate it. It helps out my channel and you'll never miss an upload from me. Please continue watching Better Call Saul with me, my other shows, movies, um, all those. I would love to have you in my community. I really, really appreciate it. To all those watching on Patreon, thank you. Thank you my friends. I appreciate all your support. And to all my regular uh, watchers, subscribers, all my regular people, my peeps, my YouTube peeps, I love you guys too. Thank you so much for your support and for being here, watching my videos, liking my videos, commenting on my videos, um, and just hanging out with me. Thank you guys so much. All right, I think that's it for this video. Yeah, and just again, if you would like to check out my Patreon, uh, the links are below. You get early access to all the shows, all the movies that I put out. Early access. Typically, the uncut reactions are two to three weeks ahead of YouTube. And the edited YouTube reactions are a week ahead, maybe more. It just depends. But you'll definitely... The uncuts are the ones where you're going to get them the fastest. Because <laughs> I don't have to edit them. So, they're up pretty quickly. So yeah, if you're interested, go check out my Patreon. There's a lot of other benefits as well. Patreon only shows. Right now, currently, we are watching this show. And let me tell you, it is amazing. I love it. And it is only on Patreon. So go over there, take a look. We would love to have you. And uh, that is it, my friends. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Have a great morning. Have a great night afternoon whenever you're watching this and um i will see you for the next video bye friends